Hello, this is Steve at GreenFuelH2O.com. Today what you have in front of you is our 59 plate cell that we offer on our website. But today what we're doing is we've got it in a kit form so that you can uh, generate hydrogen and oxygen from the bench top. This kit plugs directly into a 120 volt wall socket and you can use it for many projects. So what we're including in this kit is our 59 plate cell. This is the same cell you see on um, a lot of our video that's generating 5 to 6 liters per minute. The cell will generate up to 6 liters per minute. In this kit you can see we've got our bubbler here that has our safety flash port on the top and our high flow flashback arrestor. You can also see that we've got our AC to DC converter right here. This converts AC power to DC power that feeds the generator. And right here we have our variable controller, so you can control the output of this system. Today what we're going to do is we're going to hook it up to a torch and show you what it can do. This system will make a good uh, welding system if you want to use HHO, or if you just need to pr produce HHO for uh, experimentation or for a project that you have, this will uh, do nicely for that. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on now. Here's our on-off switch. It's right here on the side of our AC to DC converter. We turn on, turn on the system. It'll start making gas. We have it turned down right here, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it up a little bit. As you can see, oxyhydrogen is being produced here in the bubbler. So what's happening here is water is put into this tank we call this the reservoir tank and the water is being fed into the bottom of this hydrogen generator what we're doing is we're putting an electrical charge to this plates and it is breaking down the water into two parts hydrogen and one part oxygen gas the gas exits out these two tubes here into the reservoir tank and then out the top of the reservoir tank, the gas comes off. The gas comes off down to the bubbler, and you can see the gas bubbling through the water column here. The reason we have this water bubbler, it's create a separation uh, from the gas and the reservoir tank, so that if you get a black back flash or a flashback we call it. It'll come down and hit this tank right here and what we have here is a flash port. The flash will exit out these ports here instead of going back to your reservoir tank and blowing it up. So this is a safety uh, safety bubbler. It also takes KOH and electrolytes out of the gas so that you get a nice clean gas coming out of the, uh, out of the system. Then from the bubbler, your gas passes through our high flow flash arrestor. What this does is this stops any flashbacks dead in their tracks. If you get a flashback from the end of your torch, if when it hits this large flashback arrestor, it'll stop it. So we're using two, we've got two forms of safety here. Whenever you light hydrogen gas, you need to always be safe. So We've got two forms of safety here. Then if we come, our output for the gas is here, come down our hose and into our torch. This is just a basic welding torch you can buy just about anywhere. We also have another safety device. This is our small flashback arrestor. So when I light this, which I'll go ahead and do right now, give a little bit more power too. So there the flame is lit. When we turn this off, the flame will always want to go back inside and it'll flash through the hose until it's stopped. This flashback arrestor stops it. If it were to get through this flashback arrestor, it would come back to our large arrestor. And if it were to get through that, it will stop at this flash port. 
So this system is completely safe. I'll show you the flashback that happens when we turn it off. You won't be able to see it, you'll just hear a little pop. And that flashback was stopped right here. As you can hear, there's a lot of gas coming out of this. I'm going to give you a closer look at the system. That's the generator there. This is considered a 120 volt generator, only because we are taking 120 volts from the wall. Coming up these output tubes here into the reservoir tank. Coming off the reservoir tank and down into the bottom of our bubbler. And it generates a tremendous amount of gas. Exits out here comes down to our large flashback arrestor. This flashback arrestor does double as a dryer. These are our uh, desiccant beads in here. So they'll take all the moisture out of the, uh, out of the oxyhydrogen gas. And uh, when these beads turn pink, that means they have absorbed as much moisture as they can. They're, you can recharge these. Uh, I have a video that can show you how to do that. And then here's the output here that goes over to our torch. So you just plug it into a normal wall socket. It comes over here to our variable controller where you can control the amount of gas that's being produced. So I turn it down. See that the gas is also going down. So that gives you a variable production. From here, the AC power comes into this box. This is where it converses, converts AC to DC power. And here's your on-off switch for the system. Turning that off will, will shut off the gas production. Now I'm going to show you how much this system will produce. I'm going to hook the output tube into our, our system of dryers over here and we have a Alicat scientific flow meter that will show us the exact amount of production that this system is making. Okay, as you can see, we're producing 5.7 liters a minute and you can see that it is calibrated to HHO, that's two H's for two parts hydrogen, one O for one part oxygen, so this meter is calibrated for that. So 5.67 right now liters per minute. This will produce up to six liters per minute as the water in the system heats up, it'll generate more production. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and light the torch and show you what HHO can do. I know I keep calling the gas different things. It's called many things. It's called Brown's gas. It's called HHO. It's called oxyhydrogen. They're all the same thing. So don't be confused by that, those terms. They're all two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen. 66% hydrogen, 33% oxygen gas. Here we have a uh, 20 gauge plate of stainless steel. I don't know if you can see that, but as the flame touches the plate, it turns back into water. See the moisture there?
So you can see you can easily weld with this gas. That's some cutting. And it will melt just about anything, even tungsten. One thing to point out when you're using this system with a torch to extinguish the flame, you need to immediately turn it back on. Because if you don't, it will build up pressure in the, in the tank and it uh, will cause a leak. This is another fine system that we offer at greenfuelh2o.com. Stop by and see us sometime. This concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Steve. Thanks for watching.